What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so here is part two of the Elite Four battles. In our last episode, we defeated three trainers. You know, Barry was a surprise, and we defeated, uh, let's see, Aaron and Bertha. In order to get to the third and fourth battle, or hopefully the fourth battle, which we will get through. And, uh, well, off screen I did heal up my Pokemon. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be taking on Flint, as many of you guys already know. Flint, we've met him before. We do not like him. Let's go ahead and destroy him. Yo, trainer! You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from, from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward and seeing you, you in battle? Oh, and look at this, he's jogging. You're facing a fire-type Pokemon user with me. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. Okay. So here we have Afro Thunder himself. It's kind of funny because it's like his best friend is an electric type trainer, but this guy has the thunder. I mean, damn. Missed out on a perfect opportunity right there. So Afro Thunder himself, the fire trainer. And yes, he is coming out with freaking fire type Pokemon. And as you guys can see, Hound Doom is faster than mine, but I am stronger. I am mightier, like Thor says himself, and yes. Say goodbye to Hound Doom. Alrighty. Okay, so who's coming out with an Infernape? This guy. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go with Toothless right here because Infernape is a very strong Pokemon. It likes to use moves like this. And, uh, well, moves like that won't affect Toothless that much. Look at that. That's right. Toothless is mighty. Oh, yes. Infernape. I really hate doing this to you because you're like one of my favorite Sinnoh Pokemon. But, there's a big but. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta smack you right here with an earthquake. So, uh, there you go, Toothless has won another match right there. And well, here comes a Flareon, so let's go right ahead and just destroy everybody right here. Yeah, Toothless, he's gonna have his way with every single one of this guy's Pokemon. Flareon, the butt of the evolutions joke. He's gonna get an earthquake. The next Pokemon's gonna get an earthquake. Shoot, I might switch out and get Empoleon to just do some, uh, some, uh, surf attacks. And look at this, Flareon defeated. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And, well, here comes Magmordar. Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon right here. Now, Magmordar is another Pokemon that was introduced here in Generation 4 as an evolutionary Pokemon, or final evolution Pokemon for Magmar. And, well, as you guys can see, this guy's, uh, spewing out his fire, so I'm gonna go with... The Quick Claw, because yes, we are faster than you. And here we go. Surf attack for the win. Say goodbye to Magmordar. Please. Come on, be cool. Be cool. God dang it. Okay, so yeah, Magmordar had a yeah, had a, an item right there waiting for us. And well, there's that Citra Berries. And here comes a Thunderbolt. Yeah. Okay, so you should always be aware of that. And well, there goes Poseidon. So let's go with Toothless. And Toothless, avenge your teammate. Earthquake attack. Yes. So, from what I've seen, from what I've seen as of lately, many of you guys have said that, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, Piplup is probably the the, mo the least popular of the, the, of the starter Pokemon here in Sinnoh because, well, it's not really that strong. It's not that fast. It's, it, the combination is just, it, it's just weird. It is. And, well, look at this. Rapidash has come in, and well, yes, my my determination is overpowering you, so let's go with an Earthquake attack for the win, and say goodbye to Rapidash. Yes! Okay, alrighty. So Flint has been defeated, and he's like, I don't believe it! I lost. I didn't take you for granted. But I didn't expect you to win. I'd never, well, yeah, I'm not even going to read that because he's talking fast, and I can't read fast. Anywho, he's dot dot dotting, and he's like, whew, burn right down to cinders doesn't have anything to say so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon where the heck can we do this okay so here we go revive and well, let's go back to a full restore right here and well let's go straight to the next challenge again these Pokemon trainers are kind of brand new to me again because you know it's been a while since I've actually played this and I'm only assuming this guy is a ghost type Pokemon trainer so let's go right ahead and use Togepi. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Pokedex. And we have 204 Pokemon seen, so I think we got two more to, to look at. Let's see. 
Yeah, this could... Oh, wow. Kadabra, Alakazam. Okay, so this guy could probably have Alakazam. I could be wrong. Where, oh, where did we miss out on an Alakazam? And... Well, let's see. This guy does have the, the evolutionary Pokemon right here, so... Guys, I... Oh, no. Never mind. Who's... Oh, wow. So... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Yeah, we're missing a lot of Pokemon right here, guys, so... Let's see if this guy has the rest. Ah, you tied your rival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am the user of Psychic-type Pokemon. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming here this far. They say that I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to give uh, go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Okay. Let's go right ahead and take on the bookworm himself, Lucian. Or Lucian, or whatever you like, uh, guys like to call him. So, here he's coming out with Mr. Mime. And I'm pretty sure he does have himself the Al Alakazam that I need to see. Okay. Shadow Ball for the win. And... Well, this guy using uh, well, this guy using a reflect is going to mess up my my little strategy. So here we are, Togepi at level 40 or 55, and here comes Gallade, and I don't need to do much right here because Gallade, it is both a psychic and fly or psychic and fighting type Pokemon, so I can just do this, and just like that. Now that could have worked perfectly if you know the reflect didn't hit us. So here comes a Leaf Blade. And that messes up my, my little strategy. So, let's go right ahead. Hmm. I could use this guy. You know what? Let's go with Rosemon right here. Let's go with that. Okay. And here comes the Psycho Cut. As many of you guys already know, I'm doing a little bit of a strategy just to finish this guy off. And I'm not going to use that guy. So, let's go with Toothless right here. And go with a Dragon Rush. That misses. And... Wow. Come on. Dragon Rush for the win. Wow, we got our, we're getting our butts kicked right here. So here comes an Alakazam, and I am not going to steer away from this guy. All right, Alakazam. Time to get this crunch attack right here, and an energy ball finishes off Toothless. Crap baskets on a Crapsicle stick, so let's go with Electro Star and go with a crunch attack. That nearly defeats this guy, and just like that, we defeat him. Okay, all righty, so here comes a Bronzong, and... Well, I'm gonna go with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here because I need to do something. I need to, I need to revive a few Pokemon. Again, I get a little reckless, so let's go right ahead and go with Toothless right here. Oh my! Actually, that is not good. So let's go right ahead and do. Let's see. Let's get Togepi in there, and the Psychic Attack hits us. Let's go with this. Call mine yet again, Shadow Ball, and wow. Okay, so let's go with a flamethrower attack. That nearly defeats this guy. So Bronzong is uh, is tanking it up right now. Okay, so let's go with the crunch attack. And so far, I am uh, messing up right here. Holy, holy, holy buckets. Okay, crunch attack does the win, and well, Toothless saves us one more time. And here comes Espeon, so let's just go right ahead and beat this guy. Wow, we need to fix up our team. <laughs> hmm, now what, uh, what should I do? Run away. So here we go, crunch attack, here comes a psychic attack. That nearly defeats us, holy buckets. And, well, we gotta go with another crunch attack. And that beats us. Okay, so Espeon is hanging by the thread of its, uh, well, its whiskers right here. So, let's go with Poseidon. Hopefully Poseidon can, you know, get something right, done right here. Here, let's go with the Drill Peck. And here comes a Psychic Attack, and Drill Peck hits it, and we win. Oh my god, are we in for a battle in the next episode? Holy buckets! I see. You can pass the three before was no fluke. Your power is real. Not really. Holy buckets, okay. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean that you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Yeah, I am not going to do that. So anywho guys, in the next episode, we're gonna be taking on Cynthia herself. I am praying. And it's probably a good thing that I have these last two rare candies because we might be needing them for this situation. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. In the next episode, 
we will be facing Cynthia. I'll see you guys next time.